Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as promised in uh, previous videos, I am going to be doing a video about my B6 Traveler's Notebook. And that's because I've just very recently gotten into, this is my first Traveler's Notebook ever, okay? And I felt like when I was getting started, which again was just a few weeks ago, I felt like I have no clue what I'm doing. I don't know where to begin. People are saying, you know, like making dashboards and all this stuff and I couldn't figure it out. And I, at first I felt really stupid <laughs> for, for like not understanding certain things that I was reading about, you know, even just when I first heard B6, what, what is B6? And it's just, I mean, these are things that people are wondering and a lot of people are probably afraid to ask. So I wanted to explain in depth just what I've got going on here. If in case you are interested in, you know, diving into like the traveler's notebook world, um, again, I have only had this for a few weeks, so it's very new to me, but I am just in love with it. So I just wanted to kind of explain it. So first of all, this traveler's notebook cover, this gray thing is the cover, is from the honeybee shop. And I got it during uh, the Honeybee Shop had an anniversary sale, and they had this on sale. It's normally $30, regular price, and I can't remember offhand what I paid for it, but um, I had been thinking about it, and the reason is because Shan, the owner of the Honeybee Shop, did a silent flip-through on her Instagram stories of her B6TN, and it was obviously in her cover, and she was flipping through it, and it was so freaking pretty. And I was just really intrigued. So I said, you know, I'm going to go for it. And I was overwhelmed because, I, again, I don't know anything about this. I can tell you all about disc bound planners and that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> gel pens and all that stuff. But I had, I had no clue about a Traveler's Notebook. So that's when I picked this up. Um, and it has an elastic band around it, which it comes... So when this came in the mail, it came flat. Like the gray part, it was flat and you had to like fold it. And then you had to stick this elastic in here. Um, and this is just how it holds it all together. So it's a very, it's a very strong elastic. Um, and then I just put some charms on it. This I got from Dollar Tree, which I showed in a previous um, haul video. This is from the Honey Bee Shop, this beautiful bat bow. Oh my God, so pretty. This is Cosmo Kiru from the Yakuza series. I got this um, keychain at MAGFest and I, I'm i sorry that I don't know the creator. This is from the Lullaby Moon Simply Gilded subscription box, which I do not have, but um, if you watched my video on how to make a planner shaker, I talked about how I just bought a few items off of Mercari because I really like them. And then this is the um, Goro Majima keychain, um, obviously, <laughs> from the Yakuza series as well. Obviously, these go together, and they have little star clips, and they're adorable. This little Kirby clip, um, he does leave a little mark in here, which bothers me, but he's too cute. Um, this Kirby clip is from MAGFest as well. My husband won it out of like a, not won it, but those like Japanese vending machines that you can... You know, you get little little goodies. Anyway, so I stole that from him. And then this is just a little bat sticker. I haven't decorated the front of this in stickers because I'm, I don't know, I kind of like it being plain right now because I have all these charms and I might keep it plain. I'm just not sure. So let's open her up. So this is what you see when you open it up. I am changing this constantly and a lot of stuff is just in here. Um, just cause I kind of stuck it in there last night. This paper clip is, um, these are actually Dollar Tree felt stickers that I stuck together and put on a paper clip. Uh, my friend Queen gave me the idea. Obviously it's a dollar. You get a big old pack of, and I'll show you this one in a minute. Um, big old pack of felt stickers I put on a paper clip just cause it's cute. It has this really beautiful heart cut out here and I put, um, I have a die cut here that I'm 
probably going to laminate with my new laminator. So these are both from um, Shine Sticker Studio. And so I'm going to actually pull these out. I just laminated this last night. It says your feelings are valid. And this is a die cut from the This Is Us line that I got at Michael's. Um, and I'll link to that haul as well. I mean, this is just, it's too cute. I, I need to laminate it because it's, it's paper and I'm afraid I'm going to bend it or spill something on it. And then down here in the bottom, I have a couple of Gretzko things. So this is just a tag from an Agretzko um, purse that I bought. So I kept the tag and then I just, I cut Gretzko out here um, just because she's cute. I'll probably laminate her as well. And then a picture of my husband and I at an event right before the Rona went down. My hair was freshly done. I was very happy. But... Yeah, so I'm going to be redoing this, but I need to like laminate some stuff. So I just wanted to kind of show you how that works. So you have your inside pocket here where I tuck things away. I've got my Crash Bandicoot. Uh, it was a sticker that I laminated because I had the sticker actually on like a notebook. And I peeled it off and it wasn't re-sticking to anything, but I managed to save it by laminating it. So that worked out. But yeah, you have your pocket here. You can just kind of stash things away in. Things like this Crash Bandicoot that um, I'm not like displaying anywhere right now, but want to use in the future. I just kind of tuck them away in this pocket and then you have your heart cut out. So this is a piece of acetate that again was from the Simply Gilded um, Lullaby Moon subscription box. And this I have in here um, as like a, just a layering piece for this first notebook. So I'll show you how um, I put this in here and how I layered it and everything in a minute because that was something that I was confused about when I first got it was, well, how do I how do I do that? How do I set that up? And so here, um, this was another sticker that I had actually on uh, an old notebook that it's a really nice vinyl sticker and I wanted to salvage it. And again, just like the Crash Bandicoot one, it was not sticking very well. So I said, I bet this will stick to this acetate, and it did. So I just put my N64 controller there. Then this B6 size insert, which B6 size is five by seven inches, just in case you're wondering, is from the Honey Bee Shop. I ordered it at the same time as I ordered this cover. So I had obviously, you know, one notebook to, um, to use to get started. And so this notebook here in the front, and I am gonna get some kind of like, tab system maybe on the side just to label like this notebook is memory keeping and this is this and this is that again I'm still new so I'm figuring out my setup here um and so this notebook here is what I'm using for memory keeping I just put a couple um stickers here about you know memories I layered them over some cardstock I had and then I'm just going to kind of decorate as I go along these two things I laminated last night and stuck in here. So I have my mental health check-in, which was a die cut also from the This Is Us line. Um, it's the mental health pack, which I just absolutely love. And I laminated this die cut so that I can write on this um, with like a wet erase marker and then wipe it off and reuse it an infinite amount of times. So I'm still not sure exactly where I want to put this. Um, I probably will end up putting it in my either my mood tracker or maybe my journal insert that I just got but I just stuck it in that paper clip for now and then this beautiful piece of art um this is from the honeybee shop this is from Shan and she stuck it in with my last order for free I had an order of some Halloween stickers and she put this in here and it says no one is perfect like their insta feed and it's just it's it's just so cute it's beautiful so I laminated that because since I got a laminator, I've been laminating literally everything. And then I just have, um, I haven't done too much memory keeping, but I just did my first little memory keeping spread here of, you know, I have some things, I talked about this in another video, but I have some things that have just been kind of sitting around like keepsake boxes, you know, those boxes from Michael's. Um, and I wanted to be able to look at it more frequently and have it, you know, make it pretty. And so I had these signatures for my very first warp tour 
from a band called The Bouncing Souls I really like. And I just wanted to kind of like write about my first warp tour and I'm going to print some photos here to go along with this because I have I have photos from that. I was a teenager and it's crazy how long ago it was but that's all I've done as far as memory keeping so far. Um, I've barely, you know, just barely scratched the surface but wanted to go ahead and get started. I just have this little Club Nintendo card that again Club Nintendo doesn't exist anymore so it was kind of like a memory <laughs> I wanted to put it in here. And then there's the back and then there's the back of this piece of acetate that I showed you before in the front. And these were two stickers that were also on a notebook that I was able to peel off and salvage and stick right here. So this is a, um, a sticker of a map from the Yakuza game series. And then this is a Luma from the Super Mario Galaxy series. If you don't know, I'm a gamer. So I just want to show you um, how to do this because when I was looking at people's videos, they were just like, oh yeah, and I put this in here and then, and they don't explain it. Um, so just for like straight up beginners, I want to show you like how you put the notebook in there and put the cover on because it may seem like duh, but <laughs> like, kind of like uh you know basic and easy to figure out but it's it's not when you're brand new and so this is what the insert looks like when you buy it and then this is what the piece of acetate looks like now since your inserts are going to be five by seven or maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less um all you want to do is just make sure whatever you're using as like a cover or a dashboard this is 10 inches long so obviously, you know, five to cover that and then another five to cover the back and make it like a cover. So um, this just, you know, the height obviously stays the same. You've got the seven inches, but then it's just 10 across. And so what you do is you just kind of place it on there, kind of like a book cover. And then to put the insert into the um, cover with the elastics, at least this is how I do it. I find the center of the book. And so you can kind of look at where the seams are. And you'll be able to see how it's stitched there. So I find the center of the um, insert. And then I grab my elastic band. And you can, you can stretch them pretty far. They're pretty strong. And I just very carefully wrap it around. And then snap it in. And then there it is. So that's how you do that. Um, again, I know that may seem like kind of basic and self-explanatory, but when you're new to this, at least, you know, a few weeks ago, I was like overwhelmed that I was looking up videos and trying to figure it out and I felt so dumb. So I just wanted to explain it. And so this, this is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of proud of myself for this. I bought a placemat at, and that, like Christmas tree shops and that. A store that you'll hear me talk about frequently on this channel um and so it was a placemat and i trimmed it down to use it as a cover for this insert so it is just absolutely beautiful and the texture is like obviously it's really thick it's a placemat um but when i saw it in the store i immediately was like that is going to my b6 so i uh yeah i just kind of trimmed it down to approximately like 10 inches, you know, across and seven inches tall. Um, and it's not perfect. I mean, this isn't straight. It's longer on the front, whatever, but it works and I love it. So these stickers, um, just like the N64 controller were on another notebook and I was able to salvage them and stick them on this little placemat that I'm using as a cover. And then, and this is a Frank Iero, um, patch that I used to have like, um, pinned to my jacket, but I just wanted to have it in my planner. This is a, an insert that I just got at Michael's. Um, I will link, if I haven't already, I will link my, um, my most recent haul where I picked this up and it was a pack. I got two packs that each pack had two inserts. Um, and this one is by Sweet Kawaii Design. And it just says, I need my space. I have this little paper clip that was also a you know Dollar Tree felt stickers that I just stuck right on a paper clip there. And these were some die cuts that I laminated and cut out by hand last night. Um, this one was a little tricky, but um, it says fill up your cup, 
I heart therapy. Yes, I do. And going to get through this, which I really liked. And I am going to be using this as my um, mood tracker insert. And I'm still, yeah, I just kind of stuck those on the paper clip. I'm not sure exactly where they're going yet. But I just want to quickly show you my um, mood tracker insert. Again, this is very new. So I didn't use the first page here, but you can see how the ink kind of shows through. What I'm probably going to end up doing is just using a paper clip and just just like I had this and just kind of clipping this first page down um, so that it doesn't show. But I wanted to have a two sided, you know, spread. And so this is my mood tracker spread for the month. Um, I just did this last night. I had some little star stencils and I thought this would be really cute. Um, so I use paper mate flares to trace the stars and then I use some model liners just to kind of make it look like 3D with like shadows or whatever and then just did a key over here and I'm going to use my mild liners to um, color these in every day for the month of September. So really excited. I've been wanting to do a more creative mood tracker for quite a while. Um, I'm very excited about October. I have all kinds of ideas for for that so this will be i'll just use this until until it's full and then we'll move into a different insert um and kind of start over depending on you know what month we're at when it gets full so that's my mood tracker insert you will notice that this is a little smaller than five by seven it's like 4.25 by 6.5 or something like that it's a weird size but it fits great in here and then here's the back of the placemat that I made into a dashboard. This is a piece of vellum from Simply Gilded from that same Lullaby Moon sub box that I got the accessories on Mercari. So I just used this, set it up the same way, just kind of covered it when I put it in. Um, this is a new insert that I got uh, during that recent haul. Um, it's very cute. I just love this. It's nope with the, I just love, in the back of it, and so um, I am planning on, I haven't started, but I'm planning on using this as a like journal, just like a random brain dump journal. I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I am still trying to figure out what I want my system to be for journaling. If I want to use this insert or just what I want to do. Still not sure, but <laughs> I just put this insert in here. And so there's, I mean, there's nothing in there. This is my planner shaker that I made. Um, I will link that video if you're interested in learning how to make a planner shaker. I love it. And then that is the back of the insert and then the other side of the vellum. Now this I'm pretty proud of too because this was a free printable from uh, Bloom Daily Planners that they provide on their website. If you have an account, you just make a free account, log in, and they have free printables. Um, I believe it's bloomplanners.com. And so I printed out um, the free printable and I laminated it and cut it down to use as a cover. And I thought it worked really well and was really cute. And I loved having the um, like coffee and donuts here. And then we have coffee and donuts here. This was a Shine Sticker Studio insert um, that I also got at Michael's in the two pack. There's another insert that I don't have in here that came with this, um, but it's just so, it's so freaking cute. I love it. I'm not sure how I'm going to be using it yet. I may end up saving it um, for mood tracking. Like once the other one fills up, I may use it. I'm just not sure yet. For now, it's just kind of chilling in here. Maybe I'll come up with a way to use it. Side note, I personally don't, um, this is not a planner for me. This is memory keeping, mood tracking, and journaling. Um, because for me, I need to have either disc bound or ring bound or something that has removable pages so I can add things and take them out. I am not comfortable planning in something like this. It would make my anxiety go through the roof. I don't, yeah, I need to be able to remove stuff. So <laughs> just a side note, that's just me. This is a beautiful bookmark that I got from Shine Sticker Studio that I laminated because it was getting a little uh, bent up, like when I had it sticking out here. Her little uh, her little head was getting kind of bent, so I laminated that and just stuck it in here because it's cute. 
And then we have the back there, it says shine bright. This is another shaker that I made. The back is uh, a really pretty N64 controller print that I bought at MacFest. Again, I actually, I do know the artist of this one. Studio Pen Pen. Yes, Studio Pen Pen is the artist of this, which I did point out um, in the video where I made the planner shaker. And then that's the back. And then I have my beautiful Justice for Brianna Taylor sticker, again from Shine Sticker Studio that I purchased. And then here's your back pocket where you can just kind of stash stuff away. This is a really beautiful journaling card by Simply Gilded. And um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to use these yet. I don't, I don't know. They're just really pretty. I don't want to write on it. I don't know. So it just kind of sits here in the back pocket. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And then I have these. This is really random. <laughs> this is really random. Um, I have these little... <laughs> Let me see how many I have. These uh, negatives here from... Okay, I think that's it. So... I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a game called L.A. Noir that came out in 2011. It's uh, a game I really, really, really like. And these came with it. And they're just like negatives of different um, like settings in the game and buildings and things, cars. And I just, I thought that I might be able to actually use them. Um, and they say, it's so tiny, but it says L.A. Noir there. Um, I thought I might be able to use these in like a memory keeping spread. So I'm just kind of keeping them tucked away here in the back. I'm probably going to end up paper clipping these. Um, just for, you know, when I need to use them. I have an extra little ghost here that I kind of stuck back there. And that's it. So that is my B6 size traveler's notebook. Um, if you have any questions about it, again, uh, I'm very new, but I can share with you what I have learned so far. Um, just leave a comment below. And let me know. Um, if you have any questions about this, but again, this cover is from the Honey Bee Shop and it's $30 regular price. It's honestly, the quality is like top notch. It's worth every penny. Um, at first I was a little like, I don't know, you know, it's kind of a lot. I don't, I don't really know if I need that. And then when it came in the mail and I looked at it, I just, I knew I made a good choice because it's so nice. It's vegan leather. It's not real leather, um, which is very important to me. But it is just beautiful and it smells really good. I always smell it. I love the smell. And it's got the Honey Bee Shop like um, embossed in there. It's just, it's very nice. And the heart pocket is everything. Like, I love it. I hope that Shan comes out with more colors because I would definitely um, buy like a purple one. Even though I have like literally no use for it. I would, <laughs> I would buy a purple one. <laughs> Cause it's just it's so nice so um now i am going to kind of work on uh just setting things up here and putting these where where uh i want them for now off camera but i hope that that uh was entertaining for you and hopefully you know maybe cleared up anything if you are a newbie to traveler's notebooks um share with me if you are a newbie or if you're experienced or you just love traveler's notebooks let me know in the comments um what kind of cover do you have what inserts do you use how do you use yours do you use it as an actual planner um and something that i think is really cool um that i've been thinking about is when i am traveling again which i really miss traveling um even if just for like a weekend trip i i do have an insert it's from the um the pen and gear line at walmart they had like traveler's notebook inserts and the insert is a little bit bigger than five by seven it's like a little bit longer and it does bug me a little bit i do not mind them being smaller but when they're bigger it's i don't know it bothers me a little bit but it's a daily insert and i don't have like i said i don't plan in something like this i need disc bound um, I've never tried ring bound, but it is something I would definitely try. Um, if I, you know, but right now I'm a, I'm a disc girl. I really like my discs for my catch all. Anyway, I would totally use a ring, a ring bound for, um, 
you know, social media planning or whatever, but I have my half letter. I've invested into it. I love my discs, so I just, I want to try ring bound planning. I just, I truly don't need another planner right now. <laughs> so I just, I can't justify the purchase. Um, but I need to be able to add and remove things. So I don't actually plan. So when I saw that it was a daily insert for planning, I was like, I don't, I don't really have a use for this. But when I am traveling again, um, I would love to stick, you know, maybe replace one of these inserts like this one right here that I'm not even using um, with a daily insert just to use for traveling, have all my, you know, airline information and important stuff written down, um, you know, itinerary and all that stuff. But it's not something I want to carry around all the time because I'm not traveling right now. So um, it'd be cool to just, you know, pop this out. I love the elastic system. I just, this is really, really working for me right now. Again, not for planning, but for memory keeping, journaling, and mood tracking. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you would like to see more uh, videos of me, you know, maybe like I could film when I'm creating a mood tracker. I could film... Uh, when I'm doing like memory keeping spreads, I don't want to film when I'm journaling because it's very personal, but <laughs> um, I would love to film some memory keeping spreads in here because I, like I said, I've barely scratched the surface. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. And until next time, uh, have a great rest of your day and be excellent to each other. Bye.